I'm gonna have so much editing to do. <laughs> My hand hurts. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Karis. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you are not, welcome back. The goal for today is to make a jumbo dino. And the reason for that is because on Friday and Saturday, I have a craft fair coming up and I don't really have anything really big that's eye-catching. I only have a pattern for this guy and this one was a free pattern by Studio PB22, which I'll link in the uh, description box below. I'm just going to attempt to just modify this pattern and try and make a really, really big big dino. I got two skeins of this chunky pink yarn and that's going to be the main body color for the dino and then I got a big skein of this purple color that goes pretty good with this pink and it's going to make the spikes. We're going to try and make this today and I'm going to document the process in the meantime and hopefully this comes out real nice and I can share that free little jumbo dino pattern with you. Otherwise it's going to be a big flop and I'll just have to live with that. <laughs> So yes, the game plan. Let's see. I really do need to start with the body of the dinosaur, which is the first thing that I'm going to do. I was going to say what time it was. I think it's like 1130, but let me check. Oh my goodness, guys. It literally is exactly 1130. <laughs> I'm being optimistic here, but in five hours, I hope to have this jumbo dino done. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So my first challenge is to figure out what size hook that I want to use. I have these big hooks here. This one's a 15 millimeter hook. This one's a 16 millimeter hook. I don't even know what size that is. It's not even marked on there. I wish I could ask you guys, but you guys won't even see this until it's done. We're gonna go with 15 millimeters. That's what I'm gonna use. What does this recommend? Nine millimeters. <laughs> Maybe not 15 millimeters. Maybe that's too big. Can we go in between 10 and 15? Do I have a 12? No, 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 no. All right, so our options are 10 millimeters or 15. <laughs> There's no in between. I'll just go with the 16. Why not? Go big or go home, right? Oh, I did forget to mention too that I am also doing a market vlog video for this market that's coming up on Friday and Saturday. That will be up shortly. I think this video will be out first before that video. And then you'll be able to see all the market stuff like the preparation, all of the inventory that I brought the setup and then afterwards there'll be another follow-up video on everything that sold everything that didn't how much i made everything like that so definitely make sure to keep your eyes open for that subscribe if you want to so that you get notifications if you are new here so that you can see that when it comes up so just wanted to let you guys know about that let's get back to our regular scheduled program i didn't say that right but whatever so we're going to start with this and the first thing we have to do is make a magic ring so let me just that wasn't as satisfying as I thought it was going to be. So I'm not really going to show you guys everything. I don't want this to be an hour long video, but I am going to do my best to try and show you what needs to be done to make this dino. I can tell already that this 16 millimeter hook is probably way too big. Uh, 16 millimeter is out. Okay, here's a 10 millimeter. Let's try this one. I just did two more rounds of increase. We're at 48 single crochets around now. It's kind of like a hat. <laughs> this is the comparison of his head right now to his little baby head on the small dino. So I think I'm gonna add one more round of increases. So we'll bring up the total of single crochets to 54. And then after that, we'll do the three rounds of 54 and then move on to decreasing and everything else like that. There's two rounds of decreases. And basically what that does is create this little neck here. I just dropped it. So I think this is the three rows of single crochet which makes pretty much the rest of the head. And right now my three rows have only made the top of his head right above his eye. So I think what I need to do is add two more or maybe even three more rows of the single crochet around of the 54 to make the head go down a little bit more before we do the decreasing. You guys. <laughs> This dinosaur head is massive. It's like a hat. 
All right, so we finally finished doing the eight rounds of the single crochet. So now I'm gonna do the decrease. I'm gonna do 18 single crochet, decrease over nine, and then 18 more single crochet. Do 15 single crochet, and then I'm gonna do a decrease over eight single crochet, and then I'm gonna do 14 single crochet. So it's not going to be exactly in the middle and nice and even and nice and pretty, but hopefully it's not too noticeable and hopefully it still works out pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those two rounds of decreasing. And then after you decrease, you just add a row of single crochet around for your final number, which my final number is going to be 37, which is not very fun to work with, but in the next round, we even it out. So I'm gonna do those three rounds and then I'm gonna meet you guys back here. So this video isn't too incredibly long. <laughs> All right, our dino's head is definitely taking shape here. He looks a little funny here, but once he gets his stuffing in here, all of that will flatten out. But yeah, so that's his head. And oh my goodness, I did not know he was gonna be this big. And I, I love it, I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love that he is this big, but oh my goodness. So our next course of action here is to start doing the increasing for the belly. Right now we're at 37 stitches and we need to even this out. So the next even number that divides nicely by three is 42. So I'm gonna do 13 single crochet and then I'm going to single crochet increase times five and then do 14 single crochet. The next few rounds are going to be relatively the same and it's going to be even crochets on each side. So I need to spread out the single crochets so it doesn't look so curly. <laughs> I redid this, the pattern. There's so much writing. Like, I'm not really sure if it's gonna work. Yeah, I didn't do it right. I finally got it figured out. I think, anyway, it seems promising. <laughs> It is almost three o'clock right now. It is 2.45. I've been working on this for almost three hours and my goal of getting this done in five hours does not seem like it is going to get achieved, but I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to give up and hopefully we can come back here with a better looking dino. <laughs> yeah. Wish me luck. <laughs> you guys, this dinosaur is getting massive. Look at how big it is. So I finally got everything fixed the way that I wanted to so that like the increases and stuff didn't look so wonky. Right now it's four o'clock. I think it's like 3.58 or something like that. So I've been doing this for five hours already. My hand is cramping. <laughs> So that five hours was definitely an optimistic. It would have gotten done, I think, in five hours if I hadn't made so much of a mistake on the increases because I had to redo that at least five times. Just trying to figure all of that out. I took like a big chunk and a half out of my time. I took like an hour and a half just to figure all of that out. So if I didn't have to do that, I probably would be right on schedule right now, but it happened. We're gonna keep going with it. Again, I am going to have everything up on the screen for you guys so you can see it and also in the description, especially with how much is going on and how much keeps getting redone and all that stuff. I'm not really sure how I'm going to be editing this. So if anything gets missed, it is going to be complete in the description in the box below. That's just my little disclaimer there. <laughs> the other four rows in between so just to make his body a little bit longer I'm still decreasing I still have a few more rows to go but right now I'm going to stuff it so I figured I would record that and really really hope that I have enough stuffing <laughs> goodness you guys <laughs> he's not fully stuffed yet I already used one whole bag of stuffing he still has some space in here but I am going to keep going with the 
decrease rounds just to close it up a little bit more and then I'm gonna open up another bag of stuffing and get him all stuffed properly and then we will finally be done with the body and then we can work on the feet and the spikes hopefully we can get this done for tomorrow because i'm gonna be really sad if i put all this work into here and not even get to put it on display to bring people to my booth which was the whole reason for this so enough to chat i'm gonna go right back to it hopefully i can get it finished Look at this dino! He is so big! His back looks a little funny because it's like kind of straight up and down so I don't really love that. I thought I could fix it with the stuffing but it didn't really do anything. But hopefully with his tail and everything that'll kind of round it out a little bit. Right now he kind of looks like a chubby worm but it's a trust the process kind of thing. He's got to get his paws on. I have to figure out how I'm going to do his front feet and then I also have to put his little feet on and then I got to make his tail still and his spikes. So that's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> I have to figure out how to do all of that. Ugh, it's like 520 right now, I think. Hopefully I can get this done in the next two hours, I hope. I don't wanna keep doing this for the rest of the night. My hand hurts. <laughs> so yeah, let me figure out a game plan for his paws and then get back to you. I finally got his feet done. So I made these as his big feet and then I made these as his little feet but yeah so now i have to make the tail and i have to figure out how to do the spikes and i have no idea how i'm gonna do the spikes i really i have no idea oh goodness yeah it's like 6 30 right now so i'm really really hoping i can get this done in the next hour because my hands hurt <laughs> So I haven't attempted to make the tail yet because I wanted to sew all of his feet on first just so I knew where the tail was going to go. So I sewed on his first front two paws so he looks pretty good and I did not record it because I'm slacking a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the rest when I put on his other two feet and then after that we'll make the tail. His feet are on, finally. And he looks cute. He's big boy. This one's kind of a little bit down low, I guess. I should have lifted it a little bit, but too late now, can't go back. Anyway, so here he is. Now I gotta give him his tail, and then I gotta give him his spikes. His tail is kind of small. Oh well, you know what? It's on there, it's good, he's good. I'm gonna keep going and hopefully be done soon. <laughs> Look at this big chunky boy. I'm pretty happy with how the spice came out because I had to just think of how to do this myself. I just kind of wung it and this was my first time attaching him. And as you can see, like I got better with just keeping that continuous color line. So right here you can see a break in it. So I'm not like super happy about that. But other than that, he looks pretty good. He's a big chunky dino, that's for sure. Hopefully this will attract some attention from a few hundred feet away. <laughs> If I had more time and more days to think on it, probably some more breaks to some more rest, then maybe he would have come out just a little bit better. But I mean, he, he's pretty good. Now I have to get all of my craft fair stuff into my car, <laughs> but that's for another video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys coming along. Hopefully this isn't super boring. <laughs> I don't even know. I'm gonna have so much editing to do. I hope I recorded enough because I just wanted to get it done. So some things I just didn't record, but be sure to check check out my next video on my craft fair and how everything went with that and I will catch you guys there. Bye for now!